Hey guys, in this series, we are going to create a simple to-do application with the help of Django, Django REST framework and Vue CLI. To follow along, go to my GitHub link that is given in the description. This is part one and in this, we are going to configure the backend. So let's get started. Let me start the terminal first and we are going to start by creating the virtual environment. So it will be virtual env dot env. I'm going to create it as dot env. After this, we should activate the environment. So let's do that. Source dot env slash bin slash activate. And the environment is activated. Now we should start by installing Django first. So pip install Django. So Django is installed. After that, we want to install REST framework. So I'll copy this. A rest framework pip install django rest framework paste it install meanwhile the installation is going on i also want to install django filters so let's copy that and install django filters that is done and the last thing i want to install is this django course headers so this will help us to call the back end from the front end using xos now all the installations are done. Let's create the Django project. So Django admin start project. I'll call it as backend. No, let me call it as source and then I'll rename it as backend. I'll rename this as backend. Okay. Let's navigate inside this backend project. And here we have to create our first app. So Django admin, I'll call this as start app to do. I'll call it as to do. So this is done. Now that our project and app is created, let's go to the project and source and let's go to the settings. We want to change some, not change, actually add some settings. So I, first of all, I want to add rest framework. So rest frame work. Why this is required because on the rest framework it is said that we have to add this. So this was one thing. Then we have installed Django filters. So we need to add that as well. Django underscore filters. We have also installed our course. So we need to install that over here. Course headers. Okay. And one more thing. Uh, the app which we created that is to do app. So all the applications are installed now. Now we have to change the middleware. Over here, as you can see, we have to install this middleware. So we need to do that and that should come before common middleware. Let me find the common middleware and there we go. This is installed. Over here, we also have to allow certain origins to access our website. So we'll do that just after the middleware. We don't have any domain name available yet, so we will not put that, but we know we are going to access it from local host and that will be 8000. We can also access this from 127 and that also from 8000 port. Also, I would like to add one more uh, IP over here and that will be actually uh, similar to this local host, but then it won't be 8000, but 8080. Why is this required? Because we will access our backend from the front end and the front end will be running on 8080 port. So that was all the installations and configuration needed to run our backend. And in the next video, we are going to complete our backend code. So see you in the next one.